and I want to welcome you, right? So the 2020 Web Center Half Marathon Contest uh, is a time for you as a Web Center owner to really get up to speed uh, on treating this business like a business, right? It's going to be accountability. It's going to be training. It's going to be support. It's also going to have uh, content from our trainers, right? Our certified Web Center trainers are going to join us throughout the weeks and give you their best practices as successful Web Center owners as well. So you don't want to miss out on this for sure. So again, as a reminder for those that might be seeing this on the Facebook group, you can register for this contest at www.mawc. 411.com. Once you click on the banner that says join now, it's a you know, $10 fee for 13.1 weeks of training as well as access to some of our incentives and awards. And we're going to go over that this evening. So something we're doing a little different is this same link uh, that is put out in the uh, confirmation email that you registered for. We're going to be doing this session uh, not only at 9 p.m. Eastern time each and every Tuesday, but we're also going to be doing a session on Wednesday, uh, late afternoon, early evening Eastern time to make sure that we can capture some of our folks that are over in the UK that want to join us as well. So it'll be uh, 9 p.m. British time on Wednesday evenings, but for those here in the States that might be looking for a daytime or afternoon slot, uh, that'll be Wednesdays uh, around 4 p.m except one week when uh, United Kingdom, they change their clocks a week before we do, there'll be uh, an announcement about when that time is so we can make sure that we're dealing with all the right time zones. That'll be the only week that is tricky. So again, once you register and you click join now, you pay your $10, you're gonna get a confirmation email and in that email will be the link to register for the English version or the Chinese version. Uh, so the English version, again, 9 p.m. on Tuesday evenings, or 4 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday afternoons, and that's really 9 p.m. British time. And we also will have a session that'll take place um, in Taiwan uh, and the Chinese training as well. So that's all in your confirmation email uh, for the Half Marathon Web Center contest. So let's just get to it. Let's talk a little bit about this contest. Let's talk about how to be a champion in a marathon type of event. Now, you know, a marathon is 26.2 miles. And they always say, you know, you don't want to sprint in your first, you know, uh, section of any marathon because you get burnt out. But this is a half marathon, only 13.1 miles. So we're going to ease into it over the next couple of weeks. But then we're going to have a couple sprint sessions where in four week periods, we want you to run hard. We want you to treat this uh, as you know, a, a, a focused attempt to achieve your goals, right? We've got a, a limited time at the end of this year, quarter four, and I will tell you, we're going to focus a lot on digital marketing for small businesses with a focus on e-commerce. And why is that? The focus on e-commerce is one, because every small and medium-sized business right now needs to have a way to share their products and services online and get compensated for it. E-commerce, with everything that's happening right now, it's a necessary component to business is to be online, but also to accept payments online. But also, we're going into the largest retail season in world history. More money will be spent online than ever before in world history. And I say that each and every year, September, October, November, November, I say that, right? I'm not lying. What I'm saying is that it is growing at around 17% each year. It's been growing for the past many years, right? Four years now, over 17% growth in the e-commerce sector in the fourth quarter with the holiday season. So that means that this year is going to be no different. In fact, since March, all the way through till uh, July, uh, online commerce transactional fees increased over 400%. 400% an increase in online transactional uh, revenue. So that is you know, unbelievable. So we're gonna focus a lot on digital marketing, but with a, a focus in e-commerce. So let's talk a little bit about this half marathon. We're going to have this half marathon, which is again, 13.1 weeks, we're going to have five different races happening, right? Five races. We're going to have the, the, the human race uh, globally is going to be racing for the half marathon on these events. 
the first event will be the website appointment race, right? So the web center owner that completes the most website appointments from each country will be awarded one free month of web center hosting. So that means each and every country, we are uh, available in over eight countries right now. We've got the US, Canada, uh, UK, Australia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Mexico. So in those eight countries, we're gonna pick the person who has uh, completed the most website appointments. And that's gonna be an appointment with our sales support or product specialist. It's the only way that we can validate and verify those appointments. So for those that are doing your own walkthroughs, congratulations. However, you might not be participating in this race. Maybe you're going after uh, the top website sales race and that's okay. But for those that are scheduling appointments with product specialists for sales support, we're going to have the most completed website appointments from each country over the course of the contest from October 1st through December 31st. We will gauge and find out who had the most completed appointments. And for that, you'll get a free month of web center hosting. Now, obviously when you're scheduling appointments, you're doing it for a reason. You're doing it because you want to sell a website. So our website sales race will be the web center owner that has the most website sales from all countries. So this is a global contest, a global contest here. At the end of the contest on December 31st, we're gonna look over this period from October 1st all the way through December 31st. And we're gonna find out who sold the most websites. And with that, the winner will get a one free website setup, right? So that means that the uh, approximate retail value is again, 299 US dollars uh, or the currency conversion in your country. Uh, if it is um, in an Oasis site, we will waive that setup fee, which means that you have the ability to earn additional retail profit. You're gonna have the additional retail profit on your next website sale. And that means that you're gonna earn about 300, $300 uh, US dollars or your currency equivalent in your country. So that's a great prize, right? Do your best to sell some websites and then you will earn some additional income on your next website sale. We also have our digital marketing product sales race. So the web center owner that has the most DMP sales from all countries, again, a global contest, at the end of the time period in December 31st, will win one free SEO program, retail value of 325 US dollars, or your currency uh, converted amount. Now, what that means is that you can sell an SEO package and you will earn that 325. You will earn $325 uh, when you sell that to a client. So again, it's all about exposing and expanding more products and services. If you wanted, you could use that SEO product for yourself. If you're a traditional business owner and you own a website, you can use that SEO package for that purpose. The next race, the design center sales race. The web center owner that has the most design center sales from all countries at the end of the contest will be awarded one free classic design package. Again, that is up to five custom pages for a client, which means that that retails at about 1,050 US dollars. So that means that you can sell that package or gift it to a client, right? So you have earned that. It's kind of like in your, uh, uh, you know, account so you can sell that to a client. You're awarded that um, at, uh, you know, because you did such a great job. Now, here in the US, we have a text message marketing program called Morse Connect. So we will have a Morse Connect sales race. So the web center owner that has the most Morse Connect sales from the US at the end of this event will be awarded one free month of Morse Connect service at the bronze level. Approximate retail value is 39 US dollars for that monthly service. So again, the idea is that we want you to be awarded in the category that you're succeeding. So it allows you to earn additional retail profits. So as a new web center owner or a veteran web center owner, one of the most important things that you want to do is leverage our tools, right? Our tech resources, our tools, our teams and professionals. So let's talk about some of the items that you want to download and access from both unfranchise.com support materials or on our resource site. www.mawc411.com is loaded with content, training and information. So as a new web center owner, you should become very familiar with the launch page. 
On the launch page, you can activate your Web Center if it's not activated already. There's a great little video, Welcome to Web Centers, that talks to you about the administrative functions within your Web Center. But then we also have our top six downloads listed right here on this page as well. So it would make sense that if you're a new Web Center owner, you want to learn more about the program, you should download the Welcome Guide. Right, so a beautiful uh, guide that talks to you about the products, about the services, about the different levels uh, of participation as a Web Center owner, the Web Center Pro affiliate program, the Web Center Pro program, um, you know, the key resources and trainings, but then also you have your getting started checklist at the back of this page. So it goes through uh, all the most necessary components of being a successful Web Center owner and gives you an opportunity to write in the date. Uh, that you completed each of those items. Now, next on the launch page, we can talk about the marketing manual. We'll be talking about this uh, very frequently as we talk about each industry category or specific businesses. So you wanna download this marketing manual, you wanna read it, you wanna uh, generate some questions, but then also you wanna use this as a follow-up tool for some potential business candidates that you're talking to. We provide successful recommendations and talking points about digital marketing, about business spending, and any other recommendations. Now, next up are our assessment sheets. So we've got three different assessment sheets that will help you in your initial consultation with a business owner. So you can download these from support materials or again on mawc411.com. Uh, you can also purchase these pads. They're still available here in the US. You can see the product codes below. Just search for web centers on unfranchise.com and it brings you to a landing page where all of this information for either purchase products, order codes, uh, video overviews, as well as support materials are all on that page. Just go to unfranchise.com and search web centers and you'll be directed to that landing page. So we have a website design and management assessment consultation sheet. We also have a digital and social media marketing assessment sheet. And we also have our business spending assessment sheet. And all three of those can help you generate sales within the Web Center division. Now, we also have a catalog, the B2B services catalog. It is a PDF, a beautiful PDF that you can download, review the information, and also use that as a great follow-up tool when you're talking to business owners. So it highlights all the business services that we offer as a company, um, including some ancillary things like the shop.com partner program, like the APN program, like our shop local program, uh, iTransact, as well as all the web solutions available through MA Web Centers. Now, the next thing we can talk about is the 12 week action plan. Now, throughout this contest, we are going to be using the 12 week action plan to keep everyone on track. You know, everyone's always looking for a track to run on, uh, a way to stay accountable and stay kind of on track towards their goals. And the way to do that is using the 12 week action plan. So when you download it, there's gonna be different exercises and a place to track your activity so that you don't let anything slip through the cracks. And again, it goes through 12 weeks and it's a great place for you as a new Web Center owner to really get started and comfortable with the activities that you're going to do on a weekly basis to being successful. Now, I've also heard many trainers that say, you know, the 12 week action plan isn't only your first 12 weeks. It's a four 12 week action plans per year, right? It's four quarters and take yourself through this in order to stay on track towards your goals. Now, the last thing that you have on the top six downloads is our features and benefits guide. It's gonna talk to you about all the features and benefits that we provide at MA Web Centers. Again, it might be lengthy to use as an initial uh, introduction piece to some business owners, but it's a great follow-up tool or a great tool to send out to existing clients that maybe you haven't heard from in a while. You can send this out as a great piece to follow up and maybe schedule a consultation or a review. Again, the features and benefits guide can be found at mawc411.com, but it's also available on your support materials on unfranchise.com. We also have an included section on Morse Connect. So when we talk about the Web Center division, we're not talking just about Web Centers. We're talking about being a successful unfranchised business owner. So you have Web Center goals, which is to sell our web solutions, but you also have unfranchised goals, which is to sponsor new unfranchise owners. And again, there's never been a better time than now. And we always wanna be on track to achieving the shopping annuity. 
And again, the fourth quarter of the year is always the easiest to hit the Shopping Annuity Master Member Program, where you can earn free shipping for a year just by hitting that criteria. So you want to revisit that. We are about to embark on quarter four, which is October 1st through December 31st. Again, more money will be spent online than ever before in world history in this quarter. You want to leverage that for your own business growth, for your own personal spending, but also to use it as a talking point to attract people to your unfranchised business. So when you're getting started in anything, you got to have a schedule. You need to know when you're working and hopefully your schedule doesn't look like this. Now it might right now, but your job is to look at your calendar, look at your weekly calendar and fill in all your non-negotiable times. What are the times that you need to be doing something else? What are you obligated to? What are your family obligations? Maybe your employment obligations, maybe your church and civic responsibilities. You put all of that in the calendar and then you can find out when you're willing to work your Mark in America business as well as your web center business. So if you're not going to schedule it in there, it's not going to get done. So what gets scheduled gets done. Block off the times that you can build your business. Maybe two to three nights per week, you need to schedule time to be in a plan showing environment, maybe attending an online UVP. Maybe you want to schedule some time during the day to do some reach outs to some business candidates. Maybe you want to schedule time on a morning where you're going to do some of your research. The idea is that you as an unfranchised owner have committed to focusing on eight to 15 hours per week where you're going to build your unfranchised business to achieve your goals. So schedule it accordingly. Pull out your calendar and actually look and see what a time is available in your calendar. Do you, are you focused on eight hours, 10 hours, 15 hours, 20 hours? And once you put that in place, treat it like you would employment, right? Do you schedule work time? You should be working, doing result producing activities during those times. Again, I said result producing activities. If you schedule time in your calendar to work your business, that's not time to get educated. You have time to get educated on your off time. There are other times that you can plug into videos, online trainings, listening to audios, reading your goal statement, right? All of those things can happen on other times, on the way to work, while you're in the car, while you're at the gym, while you're um, doing laundry. All of these other flex time is when you can get that stuff done. Now, you need to make sure that on a weekly basis, you're holding yourself accountable. So you need to look back and actually clock in your hours and say, great, I know when I was scheduled to work, but what did I actually work last week? And you got to be honest with yourself. You know, you are in business for yourself. So at the end of the day, the only person that really can look back at you and say you did your job or not is yourself. However, you're in a great team environment. You've got a team of uh, senior leaders. You've got cross line leaders. You've got people that are web center owners. You've got corporate professionals that are willing to help you and be by your side. So you may be a bit in business for yourself, but certainly not by yourself. So when we break down your action plan on a weekly basis in your eight to 15 hours per week, this is what your objective is. On a daily basis, you should be looking to contact three businesses per day. Three businesses per day about their digital marketing to schedule an appointment. You should also be looking to schedule one consultation per day. So of those three, businesses that you reach out to, you're looking to schedule one of them in a 10 to 15 minute phone call, Zoom call, Skype call, FaceTime, uh, coffee meeting to learn more about their business. And each and every day, you should be adding two new candidates to your list. When you do that each and every day, again, that's not going to take much time. That might take less than 30 minutes of your day. Your weekly target will then end up being that you've contacted 15 candidates per week. You've scheduled three consultations per week. And of those three consultations, you were able to book a follow-up appointment with one web center, website, or DMP appointment with a product specialist. And I will tell you that looking at the numbers, if you follow this plan, this action plan, you will sell one website sale with a design package and one digital marketing product each and every month. Think of that. That could be over $1,000 in retail profit. That could be 230 BV initially. It could be an additional 30 to you know, 40 BV coming in each and every month from this activity. So that's what your target is. You're looking to stay on track with the daily activities to hit the weekly targets, which will then help you reach your monthly goal. 
Now, it's not much different than the unfranchise action plan, right? Contacting two prospects per day using the evaluation approach. From there, you wanna schedule at least one appointment to actually see the business, a part one appointment. And of course, always adding two new possibilities. So when you do that, at the end of the week, you will have contacted 10 prospects per week using the evaluation approach, and you will have scheduled those two evaluation appointments, showing them part one of the business, and then following up from there, right? Part one, part two, trial run, repeat. Evaluation approach, part one, part two, trial run, repeat. And through that process, you'll have two customers per week when you use the unfranchised marketing app, trial size marketing, uh, the Motives online party, and your web center business. So you're gonna have a retail engine in place, you're gonna have retail profits coming in, a BV engine, as well as a machine that can help qualify new business targets for you. Now, when you do this, your monthly goal will be to personally sponsor one qualified unfranchised business owner per month, attain 10 new customers over the course of this quarter, and tell two new tickets to upcoming GMTSS events. So let's talk about those. Right now, we have the upcoming product symposium. That's a great GMTSS event. This Saturday, we have a WCT 101, All-Star Web Center Training 101 taking place this Saturday. That's a great GMTSS event to get plugged into as an, a Web Center owner. Now, we also have what? We have a combined regional event coming up. You've got local seminars coming up. You've got other trainings coming up. And of course, the bullseye is in March 25th through the 27th, 2021 in the Las Vegas, Nevada, the MA World Conference 2021 at the MGM Grand, right? That is the bullseye. That's what you're looking to really drive traffic to. It's a ways away, six months away. So what you want to focus on are the outer ring activities and closely moving yourself closer to that bullseye. Again, getting people to the local events, getting people to the regional events, getting people educated at the product symposium, and then funneling all that activity into the MA World Conference next year. This business was designed that anyone can succeed that are willing to follow this basic action plan. It's all part of the Getting Started Guide. Now we took that action plan and broke it down into a 30-day sprint to success tracking sheet. You can download this on unfranchise.com under support materials. This will give you a 30-day sprint to stay accountable. It's gonna incorporate not only web center business, it's gonna include unfranchise business, your personal spending and personal business, it's gonna hold you on track in terms of reading your goal statement, listening to trainings, contacting the right individuals. So you see all the daily steps that we talk about to be a successful unfranchise owner that we learned at our international conference. Read your goals two times per day. Listening to a training every day. Program your brain. Contact three prospects for the business. Book an appointment or consultation. Contact two prospects for the unfranchise. Book an appointment. Add two new candidates a day. And your goal is to do each and every one of those every single day. And when you do that, by the end of the week, you'll have accomplished your weekly target. Continue that through the month. You've hit your monthly goal. And then you do that another month. You do that three months in a row. Over the next quarter, you're going to be an astounding success. And how do we do that? We simply follow the five C's, right? The most successful web center owners follow these five steps for quality appointments and to attain new clients. And we're going to spend some time in our next session for the Health Marathon Sprint on these five C's. The first C is to identify 60 or more business leads, business candidates. We then are going to talk about the appropriate amount of research to do on those candidates. We're going to teach you how to contact these candidates. Then we're going to teach you how to do the consultations. And then, of course, closing them into an appointment with a product specialist, where the product specialist does the heavy lifting and closes your client for you. So... This basic five is the simple steps to success through the Web Center division. So your first assignment for the week is to work on your list. Just so we can talk about having a top 20 list of your most influential people about the business and then having a list of 100 contacts and your contact two per week over the course of a year in your Web Center business, you're going to start with a list of 60 or more businesses that you know. You're gonna go one industry at a time and go column by column. Who do you know that owns a business in the category? Who do you know that's employed at a business in that category? Where do you go for that type of business and who is well-connected in that business category? And you can just start through some of our main categories, restaurants, contractors, attorneys, gyms, salons, 
auto repair, car detailers, dentists, doctors, other health professionals, landscapers, retail shops, organizations, and churches. And again, we're going to focus a lot on the businesses that need to leverage e-commerce. And that'll be a, a real focus in this quarter because we want to be able to get businesses online fast, uh, e-commerce ready quickly, and then converting to sales quickly because that's what the businesses are looking for and that's what the market demands. So weekly action items. Every single week, you'll have some homework and some action items and some takeaways. One, schedule your time and know when you're working. Two, download and print the Sprint to Success tracking sheet. That's gonna be your 30-day accountability. Download and print your 12-week action plan, right? That's gonna be more of a long-term focus. Make sure you follow up accordingly with all of the right contacts. Four, let's start with a list of at least 20 candidates, adding two per day, getting up to that 60. Five, connect and reach out to five contacts per day, three for your web center business and two for the unfranchised business, right? Step out of your comfort zone. Get out there a little bit and make those approaches because you can be trained, educated, have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't apply it, if you don't take action, nothing's gonna happen. And I will tell you that the best teacher is experience, right? Having those small successes, having those small failures is going to teach you better than anything we can do from a presentation. You wanna apply what you learn and then measure, monitor, adjust, and control. But we also want you to have some accountability and some coaching and some mentorship. So submit any success stories. All of your success that's happening at the end of the week, push it out on our Web Center Sprint to Success Facebook page. It actually should just say our Web Center uh, Support Facebook page, right? Web Center Owner Support Facebook page. Many of you already belong to that page but we want to recognize your successes on a weekly, daily basis even, when you have a successful appointment, when you have a business that is positive, when you have a sale, we wanna hear from you. So again, we are in a race to the finish of 2020, right? Here we are in uh, September, about to launch into quarter four. We've got three months to the end of 2020, and it's your opportunity to take this business seriously, to take it for what it's worth, and to also take this division and really assist and help small businesses in your local community while also solidifying your unfranchised business success. So with that being said, we have concluded week one of our Web Center uh, half marathon. What we will do is we'll open up to some Q&A uh, for anyone that has put in any questions here. Okay, so uh, there's a concern about the amount of sessions. So I added the additional sessions for um, the UK. So the Wednesday session, I added that after we had already scheduled this webinar series. So as long as you use this join link, you will be able to get onto all of our uh, sessions. I'll make sure that I send that out again in a follow-up email. You'll also get a, um, a recording um, each and every week. So if you happen to miss it or you want to revisit what we talked about, there will be a recording of each and every session as well. So um, if you've registered and you registered for the webinar series, you'll have access to all of them. The times kind of just got mixed up a little bit as we are making sure we're scheduled for other countries to be able to leverage this as well. All right, no more questions, but let me open up the chat panel. Great to see some familiar names on here, which is great. Okay, and does anyone have any additional questions? And what I'll do is because I only have the Zoom channel open, I will go back into the Facebook group, and if there are questions uh, within the Facebook stream of this, I will address those as well. Okay. Let's make it happen, everyone. We have an exciting quarter ahead of us. October 1st is nearing us, and we're gonna have this contest go until December 31st. Our final training will actually be uh, the week prior to the holiday week, and we'll make sure that we remind everyone in emails. Um, check your emails, and if you are missing anything, certainly reach out to us at any time, mawebcenters at marketamerica.com, and I hope everyone has a great evening. Take care, everyone.